Question 3. Vanadium is the transition element in the period 4. Okay, part A. Define transition elements. D block elements that form one or more stable ion with incomplete field D subshark. Okay, so it must be able to form one or more stable ion, for example, Fe2, Fe3. Okay, and it must be incomplete. Field D subshell means uh, the D subshell is this. Inside the D subshell, it has five D orbitals. And it must be uh, partially filled. Okay, part B. Vanadium shows typical chemical properties of transition elements, including uh, variable oxidation states. Okay, state two other typical chemical properties of transition elements. Uh, okay, first, uh, of course, they can form color compounds and they can form complex ion, octahedral complex, tetrahedral square planar. Okay, and also they can behave as catalysts like the uh, vanadium oxide in the contact process. Okay, part two explain why transition elements have uh, variable oxidation states. Okay, it because the D and S subshell, they are very close. Okay, how? Uh, just use the vanadium as example. Because the S orbital or subshell okay, is, the, <clears throat> is higher than the D subshell, so the two electrons, means the 4S2, these two electrons will remove first. Okay, then first it will form V2 positive. Because the energy level of this S and D subshell is close, once the electrons remove from D subshell, then the the other electron in the D subshell or the orbitals now, okay, it can easily remove. So when these electrons remove, then it can form V3 positive. When this one remove, okay, it will form V4, and this one remove V5. Okay, so therefore, there's a reason why it can form different oxidation state because the D and the S subshell, they are close in energy. So once the electrons in the D, or oh sorry, S subshell are removed, then it continue by D. Part C. VO2 positive can be reduced to V2 positive okay, by this C2O4 2 negative in acidic condition. Equations given. So it's 2 to 3 ratio. So now in the titration, 25 cm cube of 0 0.03 mole per dm cube VO2 positive is added to 10 cm cube of dilute sulfuric acid. A solution of 0 0.04 mole per dm cube C2O42 negative, then added from burette until end point reach. And the titration um, repeated and the results obtained. So we have uh, two title values. Uh, so later just need to get the average okay, and uh, do the calculation. Okay, so the question is, show that these results are consistent with the stoichiometric of equation 2. Means uh, 2 to 3 mole ratio between these two ions. Okay, so first we calculate the moles of the VO2 positive. Okay, MV over 1000, so we get this. 7.5 times 10 point 84. After that, uh, we calculate the moles of the C2O42 negative. So MV over 1000, uh, this one we get the average value. Okay, so we get 1.125 times 10.83. Okay, then we uh, try to compare these two mole. So we'll get 1 to 1.5 or 2 to 3. So it's uh, uh, consistent with the equations too. Part 2. In the excess of uh, <coughs> C2O42 negative, so this is actually a bidentate ligand. Huh? Okay, it reacts with the VO2 positive to form a mixture of two octahedral uh, complex ion. Okay, each complex ion contains a V2 positive cation and three C2O42 negative ion. Complete the diagram to show the 3D 
structure of one of the complex ion okay you can use this one for the C2O42 negative ion okay so you just need to draw one of that actually uh, it should be uh, the optical isomers because uh, when the um, this uh, transition uh, metal ion with three bidentate ligand like uh, this C2O42 negative it can form optical isomer Okay, but in this question, you just need to draw one only. Okay, so you just draw this 3D uh, diagram with the three bidentic ligand. This one, this one, and this one. Remember to put the correct charge because it's two uh, positive and this one is three times two negative. So therefore, the overall charge is four negative. Okay, part D. V2 positive can be oxidized by H2O2. From this statement, we know that uh, when V2 positive uh, is uh, oxidized, so it must release electron. Means it's release electron and at the same time it's form V3 positive. And the H2O2, therefore, it will reduce, means it gains electron. So it stays as this form. H2O2 with H plus gains electron and form H2O. Okay, so now is asked identify the vanadium species that form when the excess H2O2 reacts with V2 positive under standard condition. So because it says that excess of H2O2, so means the reactions will continue. Okay, so for example, because it started with H2O2 with the V2 positive. So H2O2 will gain electron and at the same time V2 positive must release electron and form V3 positive. Okay, when the V3 positive form then it will follow the equation 3. So this V3 positive will further react with the H2O2 and is oxidized to V O2 positive. When the VO2 positive form, then it will follow the equation 2 and is further oxidized to this VO2 positive. Because the H2O2 in excess, the reactions will continue until it's formed this VO2 positive. Because this one is the, uh, the more positive uh, E0 compared to these two. So that's why it will end up here, VO2 positive. Okay, so therefore, the species that form, means the vanadium uh, species that form, is the VO2 positive. Okay, why? It's very easy, you just uh, need to explain, because the E0 of the H2O2 is the most positive value among this. Or you can say that the E0 of the VO2 positive, this one, right, is less positive than H2O2. So it stop here. It stop here, right? So just remember, uh, the reaction is continuous. Okay, like I told you just now. Part two, um, concentrated acidified H two O two react with uh, V two positive to form the red uh, V O two three positive ion. Okay, this question actually just want you to deduce the oxidation state of V uh, of the vanadium in this ion. So uh, oxygen is uh, negative two, negative. To uh, this one, I remember because this one is the uh, already told you. Uh, in this V O two three positive, the <clears throat> is actually uh, is the vanadium combined with peroxide and ion. Okay, peroxide and ion means uh, is uh, the oxygen oxygen the oxidation state is the negative one. So negative 2 over 2 so you get negative 1 so means in this uh, VO2 3 positive oxidation state of oxygen is negative 1 times 2 so it's negative 2 negative 2 then over charge is 3 positive therefore we know that the oxidation state of vanadium must be positive 5 so that's how you get positive 5 here right so that's all for this question thank you